So uh, in our today's session, uh, let's discuss the interesting topic. Uh, I'm very much interested in this. Uh, it's uh, a thing. So today we will discuss on sizing of uh, how to uh, uh, do the sizing of acting for the substation. Uh, so for this, uh, we are complying to the standard of, of IEEE 80D. So IEEE 80 tells us, so it's a guide to design the uh, acting for the substation. If acting, so it's a vast subject. So no one is much uh, much efficient in doing this. It has it has its own challenges. In some, uh, it's a it's a kind of a uh, a total like uh, I mean uh, suppose if I am doing a pro if I am doing a thing design for one project, and suppose I face some issue in that thing there. That can be sorted out with some solution and the same solution may not be the uh, solution for the same problem for the other project. So it's kind of a, a tricky kind of thing. So generally they will do some trial and error uh, cases uh, uh, to achieve the result mostly, but there is some concept. Uh, it's a, we need to understand in very depth then you will come to know so some uh what about that thing not not as a proficient you can rate yourself as an intermediate one or uh, intermediate yes so let's start the uh sizing of uh at thing thanks for the confirmation You're welcome. Yeah. So let's first of all uh, discuss the the difference between the earthing and grounding. The earthing means so you can see the earthing means the non current carrying part we are connecting to the earth. When a fault occurs in the system, then the potential of this non current carrying part, non current part of the equipment rises. And when any human or a, any animal touching this body of this electrical equipment may get shocked. So to make it of same potential, so we are uh, doing that thing for the body. So this body is not a current carrying uh, part. Grounding the current carrying parts the neutral wire where you can find a uh, leakage current or a minimal current. So that is your grounding where this wire is carrying some current. The grounding provides generally a return path for the leakage current, hence the prote hence, uh, protect the power system equipment from the damage. So the basic, the basic difference between the earthing and grounding is this. So, Let's come to the some definitions. Let's talk about some uh, definitions here. Before attending to the sizing of everything, how to do the size sizing of the everything, it's uh, prior to this, we have to know some fundamental concepts, some fundamental terms before uh, attending the uh, sizing calculation. So what are those fundamental terms? The first one is here, it was uh, I, I, it was written that the effective asymmetrical fault current. I am talking about the term effective asymmetrical fault current. What is this? The RMS value of asymmetrical current wave integrated over the interval of fault duration. I mean, this part we discussed in our breaker session that this is a symmetrical RMS current, but when a fault occurs due to the um, <clears throat> due to the presence of DC component, due to the presence of DC component in the first first cycles, this DC component may leading this waveform towards the up 
So the magnitude is very high. This. So this is the asymmetrical fault current. And after the decaying of this DC component, the fault current will come to its normal position where this symmetrical current is not having the DC component, where the asymmetrical current is having the DC component. So now the question is, so what is this asymmetrical current? So this asymmetrical current can be calculated with by using some decrement factor into the symmetrical ground fault current IF. So this is it, some decrement factor or a kind of adjustment factor, which is between the IF, I uh, symmetrical, uh, asymmetrical current and the symmetrical current. So, so how to know this decrement factor? We will discuss that in the uh, few next slides. So before going into this, so now you understand the what is the decrement factor. So if you just want to look into the definition of this, so you can read this. Uh, I'm reading for you. An adjustment factor used in conjunction with a symmetrical ground fault current parameter in safety-oriented grounded grounding calculation. It determines the RMS equivalent of asymmetrical current if you for the given fault duration. I mean, generally we know the symmetrical ground fault current. Uh, generally, the fault symmetrical fault current we discussed it uh, in our previous classes also. For 33 kV, generally it is a 25 k. Uh, for for 20 kV, it is a 40 k. So these are the standard. There's a maximum fault I can see in the 33 kV or 220 kV. Right. So those are the symmetrical fault currents. If I want to calculate the asymmetrical fault current, then the uh, parameter which helping to determine this value is a decrement factor. This decrement factor is mainly depends upon the parameter, uh, mainly on the what? The DC component. The DC component is again depends upon the X by R ratio of the system. So this DC, this decrement factor is a is a component, is the factor which depends on my X by R ratio. 